Transplanting Transplanting the SRI way is done in a uniform square pattern with regular spacing of 30 centimeters apart or 35 centimeters or even wider possibly 50 centimeters if the soil is very fertile and well managed. Line markings should be made with a specially constructed simple rake made of bamboo or wood that has teeth spaced the desired distance apart as shown in the following pictures. Transplanting should be done when the seedlings have just two leaves and before they have more. This usually occurs between 5 and 15 days and when transplanting the seedling one seedling is planted per hill. It is planted in a shallow hole 1 or 1.5 centimeters deep with the roots placed horizontally so that the plant's shape including the root is like the letter L. Fertilizer application. The use of chemical fertilizer should follow the recommendation of agriculture officials or regular usage for each locality. The following is used for an SRI demonstration plot in the first season of 2004-2005. The first application is made at 7 to 15 days after transplanting with a dosage of 125 kilograms per hectare of urea and 100 kilograms per hectare of SP36. The second application is made at 25 to 35 days after transplanting with a dosage of 125 kilograms per hectare of urea. Third application is made at 40 to 45 days after transplanting with a dosage of 100 kilograms per hectare of ZA and that is if plants have not improved. It's highly recommended that organic fertilizer, green manure, barn manure or compost is used in SRI implementation. Organic fertilizer will improve water retention keeping the soil moist but well drained and aerated. It amends soil structure and saves water. Weeding. Weeding can be carried out with spiked implements as shown here or with a rotary weeder developed by Dissimp and others or with whatever tools usually used to take out weeds and stir and aerate the soil. Weeding is necessary at least once or twice, starting 10 to 12 days after transplanting, and preferably three or four times with intervals of 10 days according to the field condition. Regular weeding can contribute to better the harvest yield. Water management. Only a minimum of water is applied in SRI, about 2 cm covering, and the soil is left in a moist condition, or with only about half a centimeter of water. The soil is allowed to dry till cracks appear before watering again, that is, in cycles of intermittent irrigation. However, on very hard clay soils, water needs to be reapplied before the soil have reached the cracking stage. Organized pest control should be used for SRI. 
This includes choosing seed varieties that are resistant to disease and pests, synchronize planting within the neighborhood of fields, and selective use of pesticides. A variety of traps can be used for insects, rodents, and snail pests. The use of chemical pesticides is only a last resort when other pest control methods have not been effective. Yang sebelah kanan saya ini padi SRI dengan ditanam melalui satu benih. Sedangkan yang di kiri ini konvensional atau non SRI menggunakan lima benih. Harvest is carried out when the plants have matured and are ready for it with the following signs. Yellowing of all the pinnacle and seeds in a general and even spread, or when the hull is ripe. Indication of this is found in a bite test. This is when bitten between teeth there is no moisture. From experience, SRI fields ripen sooner than conventional rice fields when measured from date of seedling preparation. Selamat sukses dengan metode SRI. But this SRI method, according to my observation, fulfills both purposes. Productivity is increased and at the same time the environment is saved. And this SRI method being a solution instead of adding to the problem by providing opportunities for agricultural development is also very suitable for Indonesia. My best wishes, dear farmers, champions of SRI, as we strive together to improve and renew our vision for agriculture in a better direction. This success achieved in increasing the productivity of rice through the SRA technology has directly increased the standard of life of our farming community. SRI technology is also the right answer for solving the problem of water scarcity for the irrigation of our rice fields. Honourable Mr President, we would like to congratulate the group of farmers who have successfully implemented SRI very dedicatedly and painstakingly using this innovative effort with such excellent results. Increasing rice productivity and directly helping to accomplish the government program in our national goal for increased rice productivity and at the same time preserving the environment. For all this we would like to express our greatest appreciation and thanks to everyone who has faithfully participated.